Welcome back to WWE 2K22 My GM Mode. It is time for tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh my! For a premium live event. I am your host, Attack Slug. I have 146k in my budget, and I have a power card to use, which is free crew booking. We're doing that. I need that free crew booking this week for sure as we wrap up some level four feuds and rivalries. That's the plan. So let's check out on what else might have a pay-per-view bonus, TLC. That is 40,000 off the bat, 40K to be at that pay-per-view. And the optional goal is book two, level two or higher. I have more than that. Now, the crew will cost me zero. My stage building crew. Now, it's book three special match types, run-ins, or GM interferences to do that and get the extra optional goal for that. Our effects, I think, will stay with the standard, regular, basic effects to cost me zero and local advertising because we know it's TLC. Got to book at least one TLC match, and that's going to cost me, like, 30K, I think, so... Let's get on with that, because we also know that contracts like Brock Lesnar are going to be expiring soon. And so you wonder, I need to have a title on the line in a TLC match. That makes sense. So do we have the final encounter between Asuka and Bianca, or do we have the tag team titles hanging precariously above the ring in a TLC matchup? Considering that the stamina of my tag teams is pretty high. Well, all right, so Kofi's at not that high, but still pretty high. That that makes the most sense, especially with Kushida leaving in two weeks. It is a TLC match for those tag team titles in your main event at a two out of four on that rivalry. And I think we open the show with Brock and Joe, because Brock wants to go home early. Of course he does. And I think I might have to play that one as Joe to make sure he gets the win against Brock. There is the plan. Balor and Owens. Level 4 needs to be done. We have feuds to end here on this program. So, sorry, Kamish. Those are level 4s, and there's a bunch of them that must end on this program. So, I also think that honestly, we have to move this here. We open with a belt, and you end with a belt. It's your best chance of having the highest opening and closing of that whole entire endeavor. Which means that we have 70k now being spent on this card, and we also have four open top four promos. What could we possibly do here? We can't even book Randy Orton and John Cena, and that's unfortunate. So... That being said, we can still bump up Drew on that. We can still do a charity deal here for John Cena on that. We can still do Randy Orton doing that. And uh, number four is what? Nobody? No, I don't care about the jobber. So we can leave the last spot for promos open. That is an $85,000 out of 146 show. And we have contractual obligations, but also let's double check on my journal. So, in progress is Owens. That's it. So, just Owens has that in progress deal that he wants that shot against Drew, and that'll happen next episode on Monday Night Raw. This one, not so much. So, not a terrible show. I mean, I've had better, obviously, but at a certain point, it kind of is what it is. I don't have the budget to book multiple of these crazy match titles. I just don't. So I have contracts to worry about coming up to get renewed, and that's always a concern. So here's hoping this show at least evens out up against SmackDown and makes some decent change in the process, because otherwise we got like five weeks left, right? So we want to win in GM mode, and Regal is making it quite difficult for ya boy. So, unfortunately, not gonna get that veto champ. And honestly, thinking about it, they haven't even booked their main champ, Baron Corbin, for the belt recently. So, whatever, man. I'm sure he'll be here 
on this show, but whatever. I mean, to be fair, I've also not had Drew in a feud yet because I'm trying to finish up things with uh, Balor and Owens to have Balor fight Drew, but look, man, these things are ridiculous. So let's confirm this booking. This could be a nightmare, but we'll see. Confirming the booking at 85k. Hope for the freaking best here. So one last time, Asuka and Bianca. Who will beat your women's champion? One, two, three. Bianca, the women's champion. Three and a half stars. Rivalry complete. Drew, cutting a promo. He's zero. It was okay, but zero. Trish and Beth finishing their rivalry. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Stratisfaction. Four stars. Rivalry complete. John Cena for the kids. Excellent 5k in fans. One last time, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor on their business. And now, Balor Club worldwide. Four stars, amazing rivalry complete. Randy Orton, the Viper, the legend killer, cutting his promo. Excellent. Plus four. And now, I must play the match and try to get the four or five stars with the Samoan Submission Machine. The first time on this show. Can I give Brock that muscle buster here at TLC? That is indeed the question. It, it, it is on hard, and I played through most of my rise on hard without any real problems. So it's still Brock Lesnar, that's all I'm going to say. It is still indeed the Beast Incarnate and that could prove to be an issue. We'll see. Surprisingly, no Paul Heyman in the corner of the beast. What are you going to do? Meanwhile, on the other end of this equation, it's going to be Joe, Joe, Joe. Can I take down with Joe? Can the beast be slayed? And again, this was a great feud in, in real life. Not long enough, but for what they had at the time... Fantastic. So, Joe, 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 Joe. All right, let's get it on here in this matchup. So we got to have some kind of a back and forth here to at least get some stars and do that. Brock's mad about it. Joe's mad about it. And away we go. Now, I don't see, as usual, a star rating in the upper left-hand corner. But I do want a victorious Samoa Joe. That's what I do want. So, getting there is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to actually play there. A German on to Brock Lesnar and taunt the man. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. Now, it's combo time, Brock. Taking you down. Here we go. Kicks to your thighs. Take the legs. And what does he got? He's got nothing. Nothing. Lesnar, I'm going to run right through you. Now, I have heard that playing the matches, while you can influence the winner, does not actually influence the match rating, which is weird. So everyone's like, oh, just play them. And I'm like, but if it doesn't actually influence the rating, then just, you know, having the winners is what is kind of, you know, inconsequential to me. Because this game does not have enough options to, say, add managers or triple threat matches or, you know, all kinds of just things that it needs to do that are not here. I'm hoping that get added to the next version of the game at some point some way somehow we'll see over mr lesnar a one-sided affair here from joe joe is gonna kill you you should know better brock don't anger joe and the dragon screw like with picture perfect tanahashi style go ace go ace oh my god just rocked him just Rocked him. And finally, Lesnar getting in some offense here on Joe. We'll see how long that lasts. If I can manage to actually hit a, a triangle button here. There we go. Gotcha. I gotcha, boy. We're almost at Sig. And once we get Sig, then we get finish. And then he gets muscle busted and taken out. And taken down. And that's going to be all she wrote, Mr. Les. Oh, come on now. I picked him up. I picked him up. I picked him up. Are you serious? It's not hard. 
the part where I pick him up and all of a sudden he's just getting on me, like, that seems like nonsense. And to the outside, and back inside. The absolute power. The, wow. The clubbing for, I think it's unsafe, honestly. Honestly. How is this happening, Lesnar? How is this happening? How am I going into Suplex City here? No option to reverse his signature whatsoever. And I whiffed it. I freaking whiffed it. What? What? And I'm stunned. And I'm stunned. You know, I thought, I thought I could beat Brock on hard. Apparently, that is not the case. Uh, wow. Wow. Resiliency. Okay, no, we're, we haven't been at F5 yet, so there's an option here. I can survive. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Good lord. All of a sudden, Brock's gonna Brock. All of a sudden, Brock's gonna Brock. Again! With the German. Brock is the beast as advertised, uh, even without having to have Paul Heyman in his corner. So, this is a problem for me. I thought I was doing real good there. For uh, All of a sudden, it just came undone, and Brock went into absolute beast mode, as he's known to do. But good lord! Let me up! Okay. Gut wrench. I got nothing here. So, I can get F5 here at any time, and then be done. But no! But no! Joe fights back! Joe fights back into the corner! Into the corner! Up! Oh, come on now, Brock! That's not cool! That's not cool! I had you! You were in the corner, you were gonna get muscle busted. I don't trust having to get you into a, a, a submission here and hit that Coquina clutch. Also, there's the F5. There's the F5. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. I got nothing! Oh my god. How? How did that happen? How did I survive? that I don't, I am at a loss here. I keep missing, I keep missing these moves and it's a problem. Again, hard, not legend. Not legend, by the way. Brock is already back at signature and I have no option to reverse that signature. Again, again. So here we go, another German, this is the epitome of big, meaty men slapping meat. It's been a knockdown, drag out, hoffs fight, bombs getting dropped, but I just can't get to where I need to be, which is a... Oh my god, my arm hurts. Okay, look. Look. Hop up. Kick the man. There we go, finally. Now, don't you dare do your dirty, deep, dark business to me. What the hell? Oh my god, this stupid thing. Get into the cor- The corner. There's a bug in here. There's a bug in here. I don't need a bug doing some nonsense. I just want to get you into the corner. I just want a freaking muscle buster on Brock Lesnar. And it won't let me do it. Which is a problem. Coquina clutch. Is it locked in? Is it locked in? Circle! Yeah, see this is the problem with trying to tap out the computer is you just can't tap it fast a freak enough. Okay, Brock. It's time to finally get muscle busted down. Is that enough to put away the beast? Two. Okay. That was a lot. I gave Joe his win. If that was not a five-star match? I don't know what is. Three and a half. Three and a half. Screw you. For anyone who says play the matches, nah, I'm good. And the main event. Who do we have in our tag team TLC titles matchup? It is the New Day. Four and a half. Meanwhile, SmackDown. Mandy, Becky, women's title. One, two, three, uh, Mandy Rose, uh, women's champion on SmackDown of three and a half. Hey, there's the 
There's the champ. There's Baron Two Belts cutting a promo, getting an okay for charity. 5K. MVP, Titus. Two, three. It is Titus O'Neil. Oora, oora, oora. Three stars. Walter cutting a promo. Doing his thing. It was good for charity. Mid card, Eichner and Ilya. And it is uh, Eichner getting that win at three stars. Tamina cuts a charity promo. Nobody Mina, but it was weak. Booker T. Otis in the mid card. Booker, hey, don't get hurt, man. Don't get hurt. Book. And three stars. Level three. Main events. Alexa Bliss and Natalia. One on one. Regular. Regular. Little Miss Bliss. And a three and a half star. So I definitely, definitely beat SmackDown. But I had a poor opening. Don't tell me poor opening. I had a great show. So one complete. Two complete. Three complete. Four complete rivalries on a five card on a five match show is pretty freaking good if you ask me so regal though got good booking but he lost but he lost so 118 166 and uh we are up to 300 grand in the bank which means paying guys like brock lesnar yeah 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 Okay, so that's 118, 166, and Regal gets 98 and 141 on the premium live event. So, Mandy Rose, the new champion, huzzah! Is SmackDown gonna run Booker T into the ground until his bones break, sucker? But where that leaves me is 188 versus 182. That is back up to a comfortable 57,000 fans for Monday Night Raw over Friday Night Smackdown. Which means it is four weeks until WrestleMania and uh, John Cena, Kushida, Beth Phoenix, Brock Lesnar all want their money. How much you want, John Boy? 100k. You know what? How about 70k for Mr. Hustle Loyalty? And respect. I'm just saying, a lot of deals. He'll take it. Okay. Kushida is deals going up at the end of the week. Do we still need Kushida? For 68k, yeah, I can do that. All right, sure, fine. We have not finished that tag team rivalry yet. William Regal is watching my progress. Yeah, I'm winning, Mr. Regal. I'm winning, sunshine. So it won't last. Well, we got five weeks, right? We got five weeks. We'll see. Best of luck. Beth Phoenix wants to do more for the brand. She wants that main event match. The fans know it. It would mean a lot. Short sure thing, Beth. You can have that at some point in the next couple of weeks. So there we go. And Brock Lesnar is talking to Burr, as in Tim Burr, as in the jobber. And Brock wants to be in a tag team? No. No. No chance in hell. So, no. I have other plans for you and Burr. Your main event, Burr's a jobber. So, no. Sorry, Brock. And that brings us to 185k in our bank. We got new logistics available. We got uh, free agents here. Edge, Montez Ford, Champa Murphy. Hey, Jeff Hardy, free agent. Yeah. Tony Storm. Okay. And in our legends, it is, you know, Rock Goldberg, Macho Man, uh, Piper, Yoko. All them. So, there is... At the end of two cycles on week 11, the ratings, and there is the budget for the show. Next time, have at least one TLC, and Beth wants her match. Owens, watch his ma Owens wants his match, and uh, some expiring deals here shortly. Shortly. So, we'll deal with that next time. I am your host, Attack Slug. More videos right here. See you then on this channel, and I'm out.